Hey guys, Omni here. Sorry I didn't post a Stranger Things video yesterday, but we're going to be dropping one here today. It is a lie detector test interview from Vanity Fair, including two stars from Stranger Things, Charlie Heaton and Natalia Dyer, and we're going to be diving right into this one, man. I love these things. I went right down a deep dive rabbit hole of all kinds of these uh, lie detector <laughs> interviews, and they're hilarious, entertaining, awkward, stressful. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think the first one I dove into is Elizabeth Olsen, from, one from uh, not too long ago, just a few days ago, and uh, it was wild, man. I just went on a rabbit hole watching all kinds of them. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I think the first one I saw was Pedro Pascal, actually. And that was that was a hilarious one. So yeah, check that out. We're going to go ahead and dive into this one, though. Here we go. Natalia. Yes. Charlie. Hello. We're going to be taking a lie detector test today. One of you will be hooked up to the machine. They, the they, question. they were dating in real life. I don't know if they still are, but I, I had, some people have told me that they were dating IRL. I'll go first. Go first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh goodness, man. Do I look afraid? Oh shit. Wait. He's he another <laughs> another one. Another one hiding among the cast. <laughs> Damn it, man. How many surprised British people are in the show? What's your real name, Charlie Heaton. Yes. Were you born in Bridlington, England? No. I was born in Leeds. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? <laughs> I think so. Okay, let's get started. Oh, God, it's so stressful. So you grew up in the UK. Mm -hmm. Do you want to move back? Sometimes. Would you say you prefer fish and chips over hamburger and fries? Yeah, yeah. Is it fair to say you're more of a Prince Harry than a Prince William? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Would you say I'm more of a Megan than a Kate? Uh, uh, yes. Does being British mean you have to care about the royals? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Was it hard to perfect your American accent? No. Have you ever had a hard time understanding my accent? <laughs> Sometimes. Maybe. Oh, that's hilarious. No. I'd say no. No, actually no. Do you feel are we, you do are a we... British accent? Yes. Is it true your birthday is February 6th? Yes. So you're God, Aquarius? he's like yeah. sweating. Would you say you relate to the song Age of Aquarius? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Do you think you let the sunshine in? Yes. <laughs> Are you into horoscopes? Astrology. Astrology of late, yeah. Mm. Do you believe our signs are compatible? Yes. Have you ever looked up the signs of your celebrity crushes to see if you were compatible? No. Is it true you were a drummer in the band Kamenechi? Yes. Would you say you're a better musician than this man? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, no. I think he's really talented. He's a great musician. What so many musicians oh. in this show, man. I'm not more successful as a musician than this person. I don't think that was the question. <laughs> you the drummer more? Charlie Watts or Ringo Starr? Ringo Starr, for sure. King of Groove. Figures. What about animals? <laughs> <laughs> Still Ringo Starr, but I liked how ferocious and erratic he was. I was probably closer, closer drummer to this guy than Ringo. Can you <laughs> show me? Show you? Yeah. Uh. Just, I don't know. Just a little bit. <laughs> I do all the time. If you didn't want to act anymore, would you want to become a rock star? If I didn't want to act, um, I don't think so. No, I mean, I don't m miss it, and I, I, I used to do that, 
I don't miss it. But if I wasn't acting, I don't know what else I would do. So maybe, <laughs> maybe by default. I would probably. I mean, a rock, like a big rock star would be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Be honest. Have you ever purposefully trashed a hotel room? Not on purpose. <laughs> but you have. I love how you just. Trashed. Looked over there, I was like, I'm not lying, right? You're going to be in the movie The New Mutants, is that right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Uh, are you nervous to join the Marvel Universe? No. Actually, he was my favorite part of that movie, yeah. to be honest. Him, well, him and Maisie were Can my favorite parts of that ep Which that movie. Have? Teleportation. What do you think my superpower would be? Yes. Yeah. To be invisible. <laughs> you play Jonathan Byers in Stranger Things, right? Uh huh. Are you a lot like your character? No. Partly. Yes and no. That, these are hard. These are these are hard. Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. They, only, they all need an explanation. Yes, I am in some ways, and no, I am not in other ways. Okay. Do you think Nancy would be into you, Charlie <laughs> Heaton? No. Do you ever wish you had hair like this guy? I don't even need to look at that. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous of his hair. He's great. He's got the he's got best hair. hair. I mean, who wouldn't want hair like this? At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't get you? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you caught me. Did he lie? He's not lying. But he's 100% stressing the fuck out. <laughs> oh. You ready, Natalia? Yes. Okay. Is your real name Natalia Dyer? Yes. Were you born in Nashville, Tennessee? Yes. Are you ready to take the lie detector test? Not sure. Uh, I guess so. Okay. All right, if we get started. Um, is it true you were born January 13th? Yes. As a child, did you have birthday parties with leftover decorations from New Year's parties? I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> I mean, it's the, fine. It's okay. very specific. But I don't think so. Do you remember the best birthday present you were ever given as a kid? I had a Barbie Jeep. I can't remember if that was a birthday thing or if it was my sister. I'm not going to lie. I, I wanted one of those when I was a kid. My know. dad would not have it. <laughs> Um, End up giving it the army, army one, one instead. <laughs> yeah, I did. I liked it. Did you ever want to be anything else? Uh, yeah, I thought about it. What? Writer. Or, um, yeah, something else. Do you have a favorite TV show growing up? Like what age are you talking? <laughs> like, mm, like, like a 12 year old Natalia. 12 year olds? This is actually hard. I don't know. I mean, I watch Disney Channel. Did you have a celebrity crush? Have you yeah. ever had a celebrity yeah, crush? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, well, who was your biggest celebrity crush? Make it that deep. I think Orlando Bloom when I when Lord of the Rings was. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We have the same birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <So> faded. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you have you met them? Good choice. Good choice. No. Um, not. Do you have a current celebrity crush? Um. Do you know who my childhood celebrity crush was? I feel like I do. I feel like maybe I don't. I feel like this became a test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna find one that's. Your first role was in Hannah Montana the movie, correct? I mean, like. Define role. Were you so. more of a Miley fan or a Hannah fan? Miley, I, I mean. Okay. Gosh, that's a that's a tough one. Do you think it's possible to have the best of both worlds? <laughs> <laughs> You graduated from NYU, correct? I went there. Do you think you're smarter than me because you went to college? No. I can spell better, though. 
true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you do your best New York impression accent? Uh, no. <laughs> I'll completely embarrass myself. No? I'll offend plenty of people, I'm sure. Um, you play Nancy Wheeler in Stranger Things, is that right? Yes. Did you watch a lot of scary movies to get ready for the show? I've watched some. Scary movies? I mean, yes. Do you enjoy scary things? No. Be honest, did you watch Finn's movie It? No. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. so sorry. No, I know. It's a, I can't. So good. I'm very suggestible. Um, you play Finn Wolfhard's sister in the show. In real life, you have a sister, is that correct? Yes. Does she like Stranger Things? Um, I have two sisters. I don't know if either of them have watched it. Would you say you're a I would disown them. Than Nancy? <laughs> I know, Nancy's pretty cool. You and I were cast around the same time, right? What? You and I were cast around the same time, yeah. right? <laughs> Do you remember your first impression of me? <laughs> Yes. What was it? You're scared of bugs. <laughs> um, yeah, you're cool. You're a cool guy. You're a drummer <laughs> in a band. Oh, man. <laughs> God, he's like, he's still freaking <laughs> out. Is still true? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that reaction right there. at any time and that we didn't catch you? I don't think so. Did she? <laughs> He's like, hey, me too. Yeah, I, didn't lie I also didn't lie. Hell yeah. Mm. No and I, I wish I didn't watch the Gaiden one already because that was a fun one, but uh, yeah, that was fun. That was awkward as hell and I love that. I love the awkwardness that these questions can, uh, especially when a pair is interviewing one another. Generally, a lot of the time they bring in like one one on one. They have like a rev an interviewer reading the question, so it's more or less like a standoffish kind of thing. You never really see the person actually talking most of the time. But then every now and then, depending on what they're promoting, they might have a a duo like Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron, or actually that's the only one that other one that comes to mind at the moment. Then this one, uh, and they'll make them interview one another. And I feel like it's those ones where they interview one another that it gets a little more awkward, at least, especially this one, for sure. Um, it, just, it was so funny. It just seemed like neither of them really knew what to expect there. And uh, she 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 seemed a little more awkward about the whole situ situation while Charlie was just like flustered and nervous and anxious the entire time. Even when he was reading off the questions, like for a little bit, it seemed like he kind of had his cool for a, a moment. But as the the longer the questions went on, he was just like, I don't know. He was still seemed like the one that was like getting like shook up by the whole situation more so, even than her. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Again, another. I didn't. I did again. I didn't realize he was British. And you guys probably are all aware of this. You know, watching from season one, two, three, and all that, and all the things here too and in between. Uh, but. I haven't looked in uh, until we finished season three. I hadn't looked into any behind the scenes stuff for this. You know, what's kind of funny, you know, I did watch Enola Holmes with Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill. And, you know, obviously there's an accent happening there, but I thought it, I so thought it was fake. <laughs> I didn't think that was actually it. Oh, I don't know, man. I feel like anytime an American, and I'm sure dialect coaches and stuff like that come into play, but I just feel like Americans are really known for really shitty accents, with especially doing like European accents and stuff like that. Like, I've never really heard like a straight convincing one from an American actor before. Um, not as consistently spot on as like most British people doing uh, American accents. And it's just always surprising to me. It's just like, they're freaking chameleons, man. Sneaking in. They're like scrolls. <laughs> oh, man. But it's funny, man. I love the just the weird, like, double take your mind has to go when you realize that how they talk and everything you've seen them in is not how they actually talk. Ah, oh, it's fun.
It's fun. It's a nice little shocker. But this was a good one, man. We got a, I got a couple other videos I got lined up uh, throughout the week. And uh, keep an eye out, man. I still don't, I don't really know um, the release schedule that's going to be coming around for Stranger Things Season 4. I'm going to try to at minimum, because I do have, because unlike before, the episodes aren't out yet, so I can't watch them ahead of time and plan them to come out. So, with Obi-Wan dropping the same day, right now I'm kind of, shut up. <laughs> Screeching. Um, I don't know what how I'm going to parse these out. I was debating on continuing the two a week thing, but obviously Friday, I'll probably only have time to get one out. So we might do one a day, maybe one Friday, one Saturday, and then two a week after that. Just kind of make Friday Stranger Things Day, continue that onward. Um, I debated on doing one, one, one every Friday to save myself some time, but... If I did that, we'd still be watching part volume one by the time volume two airs. So that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm just trying not to burn myself out because uh, Netflix, man, when they drop these things all in one batch, which is just all they do except for Arcane, it just it gets a lot to take over. And I'm just trying to figure out how to parse that out between because damn it, man, that's nine episodes across two shows all dropping on the same day. God damn it, man. It's going to suck. But I'll figure it out. Bear with me <laughs> with whatever I decide on, though. But guys, what do you think of this one? Sound of the comments with all your suggestions, your thoughts, your feelings, and more down below. We'll carry on the conversation down there. Feel free to join our Discord. Links to that and all my socials down below. Follow me in each and every one of those. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And before we go, I shout out to Channel Legends, Manny Sherry, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, and Robert Anguiano. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.